Welcome back. We're on Vermeyer, and we're about to assault Saren's base. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. All right, well, um... The game is definitely, you know, setting things up as that this is a big decision and uh, one of them may not make it out alive. Uh, at this point, playing for the first time, I definitely thought, well, something's up here. They're not making me choose here for nothing. I, of course, didn't know that somebody was going to die. I just thought that uh, they might, based on this conversation, but the game doesn't really tell you, you know, is the person going with... Are he going to die, or the person who um, goes with the nuke going to die? And actually, this is not the who dies decision at all. Um, I am going to uh, send Caden with Kirihi, which I think I also did in the Let's Play. I also did it in my very first playthrough because, like I said, I've been using Ashley. Um on most of my missions, because I figured she's a soldier, so she's strong. I didn't know about the power of biotics yet. Alenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple. Understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Shadow seems clear enough. What would the other teams be called? Eigor, Manovai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA guns so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. 
Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? Hey, it's just weird going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. A speech on the level of... Uh, Lord of the Rings there. Thinking of uh, King Theoden. Very reminiscent of that speech, I think. As well as Aragorn's, uh, but not this day speech. And I'm saying that completely unironically. Mm. Let's see, who shall we take? Um, let's take Garrus and um, well, Garrus and Rex. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? It's fine. Let's move. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. We will do that, of course. Um, because we do want Kirihi to make it out alive. Nice looking waterfall. Um... Kind of interesting, maybe, to take Rex here, because of the genophage cure stuff being happening. that's happening here. I uh, haven't really ever done that before. At least not that... I probably have at some point, but I don't remember. So we'll see what he uh, has to say, if anything. Garrus has two points, which I guess I will put in... Salt training and damping. And Rex has two points that can go into throw and warp. Let's go. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Lieutenant Alenko with A Core team. Run alive, the Ento team. Move. Time to get some attention. Um, this might actually be a good time to take out the old sniper again.
because there is a sniper over there somewhere. Don't really know where he is though. Rex, what are you doing? Seem to be hitting him. There's somebody behind there who is hitting Rex. Um, I would really like it if you weren't in the cover somewhere. Monovai team. We can't reach the Geth turrets. They're out of range. Let's move up. Oh, damn. That shot, uh... Those snipers. I thought he wasn't gonna shoot because the... the beam disappeared, but... I was wrong. on. She's gonna hide behind there now. Kind of annoying. Not sure if that hit him. Alright, fine. If you don't want to play, then we'll come over there. There's a sniper behind there. Can we get him out? We can. Can I actually aim at him? I would really like to be able to see him. He's letting his shields recharge. That's not fair. Alright. There is more there. Oh, and I definitely did not want to. Help! That did not go as planned. I guess because most enemies scale with your level, it really isn't a matter of, uh, you are down here, alright. Oh, great. What are you doing, Graris? Oh, I guess that killed him. Like, because enemies tend to scale with your level, it's not really harder to do Vermeer earlier. Yeah, communications disrupted. And a bunch of weapons. I really feel like a bunch of stuff is dropping very differently than it did in the original. Like, um, light armor and, um, Weapon upgrades, which I know those are random, but I've also never actually um, had that much trouble with it. 
before. And I've played this game a lot. So I do think they changed maybe the distribution things drop at. Which can be annoying. We've got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off man of I. Alright, they're responding to our uh, help. like four ways we can go here. And I want to go always. Oh. That was the wrong direction. He doesn't want to get out of cover. Um. Rex? Go a long way around. Oh. A drone. I said, let's go the long way around. That's where it came from. So this is the way to go. Am I using cryo ammo? Armor upgrades. One of those might not be bad for... Uh, Rex. Sure, we're not. I'm still stuck with level 5 armor. I just don't have anything better. And they're stuck with crap weapon upgrades because they don't have anything better. That's the theme. Very pretty here. I'll give him that. Oh, rocket drone. Don't have an awful lot of abilities that I can use against those. Other than shooting him, shooting him works. I really like how in this edition I have the option to use the uh, Calling sat strikes. JNO, watch for comm stations. Alenko, can you see anything? No. I managed to overheat. Despite the fact that this is a Spectre weapon, I still managed to overheat. And we got Krogan. Oh. <laughs> okay, satellite doubling disrupted by complete accident. I was just trying to kill this guy. Krogan is going around, I think. And the shock trooper is being annoying. His health is still going down, despite the fact that he has full shield. There you go. 
don't know what the Krogan is doing. I guess he's still up there. Are you just standing there? I guess so. Actually, use the Metagel. Alright, I guess we already took care of the satellite uplink. Which means that the only thing left to do is the refueling platform. I think we're gonna go this way around. Go up here and then go all the way around there. Oh, this layout Aircraft just heading to perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. This layout just gives me uh, flashbacks of I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll see. No. The answer is no. Well, overload worked. Come on. Bunch of those were hits. Gives me flashback of playing Pinnacle Station, which had the layout very similar to this. Krogan Warrior. He's dead. <laughs> he just came plummeting down. That was honestly kind of funny. Isn't there stuff underneath here? Get underneath here. Not from here, I can't. Heavy armor. I want light armor. I want something I can actually use. Well, complaining about it isn't going to help. If it did, it would have helped by now. Where are we? This is the nice little sniper spot. But I also remember being glitchy, so... We're going to save... Which fortunately let me do high explosive rounds. And an actual honest to god weapon upgrade. This overloads a lot quicker, but I do remember it being very useful. Um, some enemies there but I don't see them well that's not very helpful then They'll at least take care of their defenses And there's somebody. Alright, 
by shooting arrows. We're going to keep going this way. Here I can go underneath. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. So you want to take care of the drones that are attacking Kirahi, which are over here. Um, I'm not entirely sure if uh, using powers against that's going to do much. <laughs> my god! <laughs> oh my god, I killed myself. Let's try it again, maybe from a little further away. Alright, at least I don't have to worry about that again. I don't think my power... Um, I could not move back into cover! Alright, well I'm having terrible luck with these guys. Alright, um... Let's try that this way. Am I hitting them? Well, Garrus is, so... Get yeah, flyers destroyed. Alright, finally. Can I get down here? You can, yes. I thought so. Is there anything down here? The answer is no. This place does have two entrances, and um, I believe I did show both of them originally. But, um, I don't really feel like it's... Wow, one shot. Um, necessary to do that again. Air threat has not materialized. We may be getting some help from Shadow. Indeed you are. Can I lift you from here? Bye! That will never not be funny. Mm. There's a sniper over there somewhere, but... I don't feel like playing hide-and-seek with him. 
Wait, where is he? You down below? Yes, it isn't our entrance over there. I don't really feel like dealing with it. Because all you there is that's there is some more stuff. If you want to go both ways. Although watch, that's gonna be the place where uh, I I would have gotten um, better armor. Yeah, so maybe I should just do it. Let's make it quick. Shadow team must be getting close. Hold the line, man. Hold the line. Oh, I didn't mean to go forward too there. Okay, this is just being stupid. And we get some extra XP, I guess. Um, the music just faded into itself. It's always fun. There is a door here that you should not open. If you go this way. I hope I remember where it is. I'm indoctrinated. And uh, for me, it's a weapon upgrade, which I guess is good. We haven't really been getting many of those. Yep, and I guess they were. Uh, got access to base security. We should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear out the guards for us, but they might be too much for the Salarian teams to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside. Alright, still helping out. And I don't remember if this is where... No, this is what the point of no return is, I think. Bunch of stuff. It's all kind of useless. Actually, I think that might have gone past the point of no return now. Uh, we'll see. See if I can still go out. And if I can go in the other way. If not, then I might reload. I like the other entrance better, because I think it gives you the extra little Solarian mission the indoctrinated people you can choose to set free. If I'm not mistaken. I think disabling the alarms might have been the point of no return, but we'll see. Or I'm just completely misremembering how this works. Weapon upgrade. Uh, ooh, light armor for humans. And uh, I think that's just a more advanced combat scanner, yeah. Finally, something better. We have a choice between Mantis and Ursa. Both are the same. Um, but I prefer Mantis color scheme, so we'll go with that. 
still want that, of course. And... That, why not? Got some new stuff there. Hell, dear. Can I go in from here? That's the real question. The answer is no. Um, I don't want to reload now, because I got some good armor. So we'll go back. <laughs> Sorry about the detour. I guess we'll go this way and see how it goes. What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Sure you did. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Nano Savat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG, man. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper? Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Shepard. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small and the noise just won't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Um, well, he's gonna die either way, either in the explosion or from us pulling him out, Set so... Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why aren't they repeated when they're so simple? They're not simple! And yeah, he just immediately attacks you. There's three of them. Um. Rex, why are you using your pistol? You do something about your shields, though. Are you having overheating trouble? Is that what's happening? Alright, moving on. Mini games to play. All right, even even better combat optics. Seems to love giving me that. 
infantry in medium armor. Not great. Um, this is, I think, where we're going. This would be the other way in. Still want to go there. Oh, you're not a gat. And you're not wearing a lab coat. I guess I'm glad to see you. Lieutenant Gonto Imnes of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat, and far more horrifying. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There wasn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envied them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. It turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. Yeah, he was a lot more uh, sane than the others. There's nothing left of them. No, oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure, but leave them like this. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Are you sure? We should at least in this state area. Let them out. They won't hurt us. Yes, Commander. And they just stand there. I am only what it wants me to So they're probably gonna die anyway. But hey, Paragon points. Um, this leads back to the other entrance. Just wanna make sure there's no crates there. That I have missed. There isn't a sorry intel report. That just gave us codex. I was hoping it might give me a mission, but it did not. And some more enemies to kill in here. Gef Juggernaut. That doesn't sound like fun. But as always, Biotics makes short work of them. Should have brought Tali for some hacking. My biotics recharge pretty quickly now, at least. Oh, alright. That's explosive ammo for you. And we got another level out of it, so... You know, if he manages to hit something with it. That's it, I think. And we can't get out through here, because we didn't come in through it. Just don't know for sure if there's any crates or anything here. Nope, there's not. So let's head back and move on. Uh, 
down. Let's go find Sovereign, shall we? I remember having an hilarious glitch here in the Let's Play when uh, I actually decided to go lay down. Alright, maybe I shouldn't have played with that. What the hell's happening? Oh, she's happening. My weapon's been sabotaged. Um. Not a lot I can do. No. Stay back. This is important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. Can my gun you please will not work? Destroy the work we have started. This guy was just talking at us, by the way, even though we weren't even looking his way. Dr. Droyus. And they're dead now. Where are those two? I don't know. Maybe somewhere later. Ooh, biotic amps. Weapon upgrades, grenade upgrades. All right, at least we're getting stuff now. That is of some use. Those amps aren't great though. Actually, frictionless materials is a good one to use with the explosive rounds. Should have done that the other way around, I guess. There. And I, I guess I'll switch to snowblind rounds, which are just better cryo rounds. Yeah, whatever. Nothing better for my grenades. Not like I'm using them very much anyway. Anything else in this room before we move on? Yes. A Geth fleet report. Wait, can I go sideways through the orange things? No. It was letting me... 
Oh, come on. I should have totally gotten that. Fine. I'll just use armor gel. According to these files, the Geth are planning a massive assault. Saren has given orders that they begin... Okay. I'm not allowed to read the rest of them. However, that's in the Armstrong um, Nebula. That's interesting. I know you can get this mission on Pharaohs as well. I guess you can get it here too. Ooh, that's a, maybe a better Omni tool. Garrus? Um, or not. It's actually a terrible Omni tool. Fine. Moving on. Oh, that's where those two are. Using the right weapon is really hard, it seems. Okay, I don't really like the reduced rate of fire that these give me. So, I'm actually gonna switch out. Um... Sure, it's my sledgehammer rounds. And it's Ranafanoptis. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not gonna hurt you. Who are you? Ranafanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assumed. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Um... It's... Like, interesting that this is, you know, something that was mentioned as far back as Eden Prime, where everybody was saying about hearing the ship in their mind. Inside their head. Also, I think letting her go has some negative effect down the line, but I don't remember. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. And we know it is infect uh, affecting him. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. I don't remember exactly what happens if you let her go, but... Uh... I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? 
You can't. But I'll never. Ah! You enjoyed that. It was pretty funny. Um, nothing here. Oh, no, there's that. Which is more crap that I don't really need. Um, But at least his credits, which you know I also don't really need, but <laughs> besides the point. Ooh, look what time it is. Commander, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. Kind of similar. Still kind of garbled because we don't have the cipher yet. Anybody want to ask me if I'm okay? I guess not. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am sovereign. And he is so mysterious that the subtitles don't even say his name. I love how bassy this is. <laughs> it really rumbles everything. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper. A label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance. And at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. 
You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us. They're here to wipe us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation. Independent. Free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. Or they were created by some weird race of underwater creatures. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. You could say that. Also, this conversation's what, Brian? Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This console's been disabled. Orders, command. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. All right, uh, we blew the windows out. Improved the view, but that's about it. Um, yes, this is such an awesome moment when you first play. Got an idea of the scope of what you're uh, facing, finally. Back when, the, you know, the Reapers were still actually threatening and mysterious and interesting. Sovereign is way more threatening than Harbinger could ever hope to be. You know, Sovereign, the, the Reaper that is the Harbinger of the Reaper's arrival, and Harbinger, who is their leader, so you could say they're Sovereign. Wait, who named these things? We're not done here yet, though. Geth are turning from your position, Geth. Looks like Shadow kicked a sensitive spot. Alenko, head them off. Hold them. Why are the computers here broken now? I don't know. I do know that we now have a bridge that's open. And um, these guys are annoying. Why am I blocked? Let's see if I can get them out of uh, hiding. I don't quite know if he's dead, but I, I'm gonna guess yes. Why can't I shoot? I'm not allowed to shoot for some reason. I think they were out of range for singularity. But hey, this works. Albeit more slowly. Mm. 
moving on. Still got quite a lot to do here before we get to the end. I remember finding really awesome Quarian armor here in the original Let's Play. I don't know why I remember that, but I do. That was bad. There we go. No such luck so far. On the Quarian armor front, I mean. I don't remember if it was here exactly, but it was definitely uh, on Vermeer somewhere. It would be such a nice vacation spot. Yes, it could. Uh, that turret, I'm assuming we're talking about. What was aiming at me? Was it a drone or um a... It's one of them guys. Um, okay, great. They have a... F uh, they're overheating me. I think that goes faster if you don't shoot. You know what? Can I do this? Because I'm sure gonna try. This should slow down. Can you stop moving around. I guess that's the downside. Rockets. Thing must be shooting at one of our squad mates who is um, not in his line of sight, so. That works for me. Nothing down here. Except more drones. We're technically not down here. So. This is where I actually decided to play dead. Fell out of the tr the bounds of the area. And could not be revived. Until I took an elevator. And it also prevented me from saving, because her taking damage kept making the game think that I was still in combat. Didn't happen this time, though. Scram Rail 8. Oh, we picked up a bunch of stuff, too. Medical Exoskeleton 8. I think I already have that, though. I do. I like Inferno Rounds. Um, Scram Rail 8. Definitely better than what I had. Shut the turret down. Look out! They followed us up. Wait, what? They did? When did they do that? Wait, am I being shot from? Yeah. Never mind, while well, I pay no attention to what's happening. Good work on the gun, Shadow Team. Now it's our turn. Ow.
All right. That worked. Because I'm like such high level and um, keep getting high level equipment, it really feels like I am near the end of the game. Even though, in fact, I am not. Still got quite a lot to do That's after it. this. We need to clear the gap and set those charges. We got pharaohs, of course. This may not work. However, it is. Is he dead? He's dead. Um, because yeah, we got Pharos and Ilos and a bunch of side quests, and let's not forget bring down the sky, which is also quite long. So much content in this game. Charge set. Everyone, bunker down. Bunker down. And. You know, got two more games as well, so even though I'd already had the games, 60 bucks, I don't think that's a really bad deal. Um I forget when Sarah. Oh, right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Um, I forget where he's going. Over there! There's our mushroom-shaped nuke. Don't drop it, please. The nukes don't go off very easily, but I don't know if this is actually a nuke or just something with equivalent power to a nuke. Because it was converted from their drive core. Either way, just be careful, okay? Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative. It's too hot. You can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move! Um... Now we can't pick Ashley. I feel like we started this mission with Garrison Rex. We should finish it with Garrison Rex. part of the mission isn't that long anyway. I leveled up at some point and I did not do anything about it. Master lift! Um, and warp. I mean, pistols would also be helpful, but I don't really use the pistol power very often. Armor would probably also be good, because I do sometimes get unlucky. Um, do assault training and damping again, and Rex can do warp and shotguns. Alright, so we need to go to the AA tower. After Krogan Warlord, who wants to rush us? 
Fine, let him try. Alright. That almost worked. Oh. There was a stalker moving around here. These are reading tubes, I guess. Nothing to say about it, Rex? Saren needs to pay for what he's done to my people. Saren's experiments have to be stopped. I guess that's all he has to say. There's a crate. With some stuff. I guess we're going over here. Damn. Yes, they're sending in reinforcements. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and it's bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm activating the nuke! This is actually where you get the, um... Uh, Decision on who gets to live. What are you doing, Chief? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Williams. So here, you get to pick who lives and who dies. And I kind of already hinted at it earlier in the Let's Play. Um, I'm gonna save Caden. I deliberately had him go with Kirihi so we could see the other side of this confrontation because you fight in a different place if you do this. Um, and I'm saving Caden because it's the opposite of what I did previously and um, he has clearly has the better skill set as in terms of being useful as a squad mate. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA tower. Yes, Commander. I... I you know it's the right choice, LT. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. And looking ahead to... Uh, looking ahead to... Um, Mass Effect 3... This is also the better choice, because... Caden has a Reeve, and since I'm an adept, that's pretty awesome to have. Not that I'll have him on my squad very often. Still, I would not use Ashley very much either, so... Yeah, almost. So now we get to confront Saren somewhere else than where we did last time. I do think I think I like the battle where the nuke is better. Just a more interesting location for your first meeting with Saren. But hey, you can't have everything. you doing? I guess he's trying to shock us. Get it? Because he's a shock trooper? I'm so funny. Did you just die already? Ow. Alright. Oh, good job. Garrus took him out.
impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Well, I do love steak, so... Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? I think we're going extinct either way. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Too late for that, I think. Why are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god. The pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. I don't think they will survive. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The Conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the Conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers, we can beat them! I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a specter. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. All right, um, we get to find him. I think he does not really have uh, get affected by uh, the area of effect powers. The 
So we'll use those for the... Oh, that's what I wanted. We'll use those for the get and stuff. Rex, would you mind? Oh, well, I guess that means you're not in my way anymore. So that's something. Back to accidental uh, metagel usage. Which is fine. Uh... Alright, I think that actually got him. But we're not allowed to beat him this time. Hang on. That was a bit more dramatic. Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? I don't think you actually get to see the um, person die if you go to the nuke like that. Uh, but I might be remembering that wrong. So yeah, Caden is our Vermeer survivor for this run. Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? Because you have biotic powers and we've gone over this. It wasn't your call, Alenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job... You wouldn't have had to make that call. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, ma'am. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. Tell me, your visions, have they changed at all? Do you know where the conduit is now? The vision changed, but it's still not clear. That is unfortunate. I am afraid our only choice is to go to Pharaoh's. Maybe we will find what we need there. I'll let Joker know where we're headed. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn him about Sovereign. I mean, why bother is the accurate response, but sure. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard. I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. 
If only we had a body cam. Could have just shown him what Sovereign said. Although they probably still wouldn't have believed us. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a Spectre. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Well, thanks for nothing. Okay, well, that was Vermeyer. We now know about Sovereign. We still haven't been able to decode Division because we haven't gone to Pharaohs yet. And Ashley has died. But we'll see what else we can do in the next video.